Fire and water are two forces that don't usually get along. But here, deep in a forest in New York, they coexist perfectly. Behind this waterfall, there is a flame, and it's been burning for potentially thousands of years. So how is this even possible? Is it science, magic, or maybe a little of both? Well, let's find out. To see this flame for yourself, you'll have to do a little exploring. It is tucked away in Chestnut Ridge Park, just outside Buffalo, New York. The hike isn't too tough, it's about a mile round trip, but it takes you to one of the most unique places on Earth. You'll hear the falls before you see them. That distant sound of rushing water is your signal that you're close. And then, before you know it, you're there. The falls are small, just 30 feet high. At first glance, it seems like any other little waterfall you'd find in a forest. But step closer and you'll see it. A tiny golden flame flickering right behind the water. Smell the air and you'll notice something else. The faint scent of natural gas mixing with the cool, damp forest breeze. It's both strange and beautiful. But what's really going on here? To understand why this flame burns and why the water doesn't put it out, we have to go back in time very far, and we have to dig really deep. Literally. The story of Eternal Flame Falls begins nearly 400 million years ago. Back then, this part of New York was unrecognizable. Instead of the forests and waterfalls that you see today, the land was submerged beneath warm, shallow seas teeming with life. As these plants and animals lived and died, they sank to the seafloor, mixing with mud and silt. Over millions and millions of years, layer upon layer of organic matter built up, and these layers were buried under immense pressure from the weight of the new sediments above. By about 300 to 350 million years ago, all this pressure caused something remarkable to happen. The mud was transformed into shale rock. Okay, so if you're like me at this point, you're asking, what the heck is shale rock? Well, let me tell you, it is very important to this story. Shale rock is a fine-grained sedimentary rock that forms in flat, thin layers, almost like pages in a book. Shale is unique because of its structure. It is made of tiny, compressed particles of clay and silt, which means it's not as solid or as dense as other rocks. Instead, shale is brittle and full of natural fractures. These are tiny cracks where gas, oil, or even water can flow. And this is a critically important detail to remember. At the same time that the shale was forming, the organic material, plants, algae, and marine organisms that were trapped inside it began to break down under heat and pressure. Over millions of years, this decaying matter released natural gases, flammable, invisible fuels that become trapped inside the layers of shale, kind of like bubbles in a soda bottle. These gases were mostly methane, but there was also some propane and ethane as well. But details. So the shale rock is critically important, like I said, because it acts as both the container and the source for the gases that make the eternal flame possible. The shale held onto the gas for hundreds of millions of years, keeping it locked away deep underground. But as the Earth's crust shifted and eroded over time, the rock fractured, as shale does. These tiny cracks acted as natural escape routes and allowed the gas to seep slowly upward. Fast forward to the time of human history and the gases have made their way to the base of this waterfall. Hidden in a small, rocky alcove behind the flowing water, the methane seeps out, steady and constant, like a quiet breath from the earth. And right here is where humans come in. At some point, maybe even thousands of years ago, somebody lit this flame for the very first time. We don't know who, but at some point, somebody must have noticed the faint smell of gas and ignited it, bringing the eternal flame into existence. Now, the exact date along with who lit the eternal flame does remain uncertain. Some people think it was Native Americans thousands of years ago, while others think it was more recent, like in the 1920s somebody did it right around the time that the park was founded. Even though we don't know who first lit the eternal flame, we have seen it burning for years and years since. While we don't know the answer to that question, we do know the answer to the next one, and that is, is it true that this flame never goes out? And if so, why? Well, the flame's secret lies in the shape of the rock. 
The small alcove behind the falls creates a natural shield, protecting the flame from the full force of the water and wind. The gas keeps flowing, the flame keeps burning, and the water keeps cascading down, all in perfect balance. In other words, natural gas, a perfectly placed rock pocket, and a little spark have all come together to form a natural wonder, a place where fire and water live side by side. Now, here's the thing, if that sounds just a tad idealistic, it's because it is. As it would turn out, the eternal flame isn't eternal after all, because it does occasionally go out. But there is a catch here. Even inside the alcove, water and wind do occasionally find their way inside and extinguish the flame. But not to worry, because visitors to the park are determined to keep the legend alive. Over time, the practice of relighting the flame has become a tradition among park visitors. They all want to ensure that the eternal flame does remain eternal after all. So if the flame does go out, someone does relight it. And I like to think of this as just another way nature is keeping this flame alive. Even though it's not its own powerhouse of just constant fire, I think there's something beautiful here about the interaction of humans and this natural wonder. There's really no purpose to it other than it's a unique, beautiful place, and we want to keep it alive. So even if humans do help the flame out occasionally, the eternal flame continues to burn. What started 400 million years ago with ancient seas and decaying life has led to this, a waterfall with fire at its heart. It's a quiet reminder that the natural world holds secrets shaped over millennia, just waiting for us to discover them. It's like nature accidentally created a pilot light, tucked it safely away in this quiet corner of the forest, and then through millions of years of geological history, ancient oceans, and buried life, created a place where fire and water coexist in one of the most unexpected and beautiful ways. Eternal Flame Falls certainly isn't the grandest or most awe-inspiring place you'll ever see, but I think that's what makes it so special. In a world full of big, dramatic spectacles, this tiny flame reminds us that there is beauty hidden in the smallest of places. We just have to look harder to see them. So next time you're out exploring, go ahead and take a look at these smaller details because nature has a way of surprising us in places where we might not expect. And go ahead and tell me in the comments, what is the coolest natural wonder that you've ever seen? And was it a big or a small one? Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.